Ever since OpenAI launched ChatGPT back in November of 2022, the chatbot has remained undefeated. Several AI companies have released various models, but none of them could challenge ChatGPT's dominance. However, all of that changed a few days ago when Anthropic, an AI company, released its latest iteration, Claude 2. This new AI model is super powerful, with some even saying that it has the capacity to dethrone OpenAI's ChatGPT. Today, we're going to look at Claude 2 and talk about some of its features. But before that, hello and welcome to the AI Trend, your go-to destination for all things AI. We are dedicated to bringing you the latest developments, breakthroughs, and releases in artificial intelligence technology. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Claude 2 is an AI model created by tech startup Anthropic, an AI company that was founded by ex-OpenAI employees. This new model is extremely smart because, apparently, their initial model Claude 1 scored a multiple-choice section of the bar exam. And when compared to college students applying for graduate school, Claude 2 scored above the 90th percentile of the GRE exams. This insane AI model has a 100,000 token size, which is tens of times more powerful than ChatGPT. This large token size window means you can input something like a very long document or an entire book and ask Claude 2 to summarize it for you. For example, you can upload a paper and then ask Claude 2 to give you a summary of what the paper is talking about. You can even ask the AI to create an entire table from the paper and it will do that for you. Claude 2 is also very good at coding. It scored a 71.2% on the Codex Human Eval test, which is basically a Python coding test that is used to test an AI model's coding capabilities. Now, we're going to try out Claude 2 to get a first-hand experience of how the AI model works. Claude 2 is currently available to only people living in the US and UK, but very soon it will be rolled out to people all over the world. However, if you don't want to wait, you can use a VPN and create a free account. So, the very first thing we're going to do with Claude 2 is a simple text summary. I'm going to upload a paper, then I'll ask you to summarize this paper in detail. Now, the paper I uploaded is very long, but as you can see, it is not a problem for Claude. In less than a minute, we've got a short but detailed summary of what is written in the paper. This is honestly very important and it exceeds what ChatGPT can do by miles. However, there's something we need to try out first. According to Anthropic, Claude 2 has a token window of 100,000, which in theory is enough to summarize an entire book. And one of the example books that was given was The Great Gatsby, which is around 75,000 tokens long. So now we're going to upload the EPUB file of this book to Claude 2 and see if it can summarize the entire book. After uploading the book, we can now write our prompt, what is the title of this book, and summarize the story. Almost immediately, the AI managed to find the title of the book and it created a short summary, which is very impressive. But there's something about this that seems to be a bit off. The Great Gatsby is a very popular novel that probably has hundreds of different summaries available already. So there is a huge chance Claude just took one of these summaries and gave us a response. We need to make sure that this is not the case and that the chatbot is actually doing the work by itself. So we'll head over to Gutenberg.org and search for a random book that is not so popular. For instance, this book titled The Last Crash by Kenneth Latour. After downloading the EPUB file, we'll upload it to Claude 2 and do the same thing we did for the first book. We'll ask it to give us the title and a summary of the story. Impressively enough, the AI managed to find the title of the book and generate a summary. And all of this took less than a minute, which is mind-blowing. However, now let's see if GPT-4 can do the same thing. So, we'll upload the same book and ask it the same question. What is the title of this book? And can you summarize the story? Unfortunately, GPT-4 could not accomplish this task. It was able to find the title though, but it could not come up with a summary for the book 
So now we have a title but no summary. However, I must say, I'm impressed that Claude 2 could do something like this, and very fast. It took GBT4 about 4 minutes to analyze the text, and it still could not generate a summary for the book. But Claude 2 did all of that in less than a minute. You also have to consider the fact that you have to pay to access GBT4 while Claude 2 is absolutely free. Clearly, in this case, Claude 2 comes out as the winner. Now, another thing I want us to look at is Claude 2's ability to roleplay. But we're not just going to be doing simple roleplaying here. We're going to upload a character sheet that basically describes the character's personality and the way they talk. After uploading the file, we can now ask Claude 2 to act like the character while having a conversation with us. Claude 2 manages to pull this off seamlessly. Also, the 100,000 token size allows you to have very long conversations with the chatbot without it forgetting the subject you were discussing. This, however, is not possible with GBT4 as it soon forgets what you were talking about because of its very small token size. So, when it comes to roleplaying, Claude 2 definitely comes out on top. If you're a fan of roleplaying, Claude 2 is definitely your go-to chatbot, but it is definitely censored to prevent people from doing some very weird stuff with it. Claude 2 also has another feature that I'd like to talk about. It can analyze documents and draw out the necessary information and place them in a table. However, it is a bit limited compared to GPT-4 in this aspect. You see, GPT-4 is not just able to draw information out into a table, it is also able to create complex graphs from this information. For instance, if you give it a file containing information about the stock of a company, it can use that information to create a complex graph showing you exactly what happened. Claude 2, on the other hand, is a bit limited in this aspect, as it can only create tables and nothing else. I really think this is an aspect the creators of Claude should look into, because many people, especially businesses, use AI to analyze complex documents. The next powerful feature of Claude 2 is its ability to code. The AI model scored a 71.2% in the Codex Human Eval test, showing that it can code on a professional level. Now, if you want to code anything, let's say a small game or a simple web page, you can ask Claude 2 to do it for you. The AI generates code very fast, but it usually generates incomplete code at first, so you need to keep prompting it to add more details to the code to make it more functional. The key to generating a good code on Claude 2 is giving it a very detailed prompt on what you want. Don't just write something basic and expect it to generate the entire code for you. You have to be specific about what you want. However, GPT-4 Code Interpreter is far more advanced in coding compared to Claude 2. There are fewer bugs in codes created by GPT-4 Code Interpreter. Also, GPT-4 seems to get things better on the first try compared to Claude 2. So, when it comes to coding, GPT-4 still has an edge over Claude 2. Final Thoughts Claude 2 is an insanely powerful AI that is threatening ChatGPT's dominance. It definitely has the potential to overtake ChatGPT anytime soon. Its large token size allows for a more improved conversational experience, which is something many users have been hoping to see in ChatGPT for a long time. And the best part is that this AI is completely free. So, what do you think about Claude 2? Will it be the AI model to defeat ChatGPT? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date on the recent developments in the world of AI.